Well, a Portland lobbying group is determined to do something about Portland's homeless crisis, and it wants local residents to weigh in. People for Portland just refiled a ballot measure with Metro after it was rejected once before. Devin Haskins is tracking all the back and forth. He's here this morning with the latest. And Devin, this measure is going to let voters decide how money is spent on homeless services. Yeah, Brenda, that money coming from an approved bond measure passed in May of 2020. Now, it tax couples making $200,000 or more and companies making more than $5 million or more. Huh. That tax would raise about $250 million a year for 10 years, totaling $2.5 billion. Now, if it gets to the ballot, people for Portland's measure would make sure that at least 75% of that money goes to creating shelters that would continue until there are uh, enough beds for every person living on the streets. The Oregonian reports that last week, the initial measure that they uh, proposed was denied by Metro, citing three issues that said it didn't meet legality requirements. They fired back at Metro with a post saying that Metro was trying to create an expensive court battle and delay them from being able to gather signatures. The newspaper says People for Portland recently refiled, but said the group only fixed one of those three issues. KGW spoke with those behind the proposed ballot measure earlier this month. More to the point, it'll fulfill what we said we were going to do two years ago when the Metro $2.5 billion homeless services measure passed, which is address the nightly crisis, humanitarian crisis that's unfolding on our streets. Now, Metro says that the way that the money is being spent is working. In the first six months, they say 1,600 shelter beds were created and they prevented eviction for 1,400 families. Now, if this version of the ballot measure gets approved, it would still need to get enough signatures by September 8th to make it onto the ballot.